Yo, what up? It's Drop from LetterDropMusic.com, LetterDropBeats.com. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, so I wanted to talk about, well, I wanted to ask a question. How do you know if your music is valuable? You know what I mean? Like, of course it's valuable to us when we write our music, make our beats, you know what I'm saying, write our verses. Of course it has some meaning to us, you know what I mean? Like, that's why a lot of people love writing music. You know, it's an outlet for people. So how do we know if it's valuable to other people though you know um, some of the things that I see a lot of people doing is they try to conform of course to whatever they hear on the radio or if someone is selling or you know getting some sort of success then they kind of you know use their music and relate it to that other person and say okay well maybe I need to make my music sound more like them you know what I mean and uh, of course uh, people do that all the time and yeah in a way you should be trying to find um, find out how relatable you you are to other people especially if they're making music that's similar to yours but in a sense that's not the most efficient way for you to to answer the question how do you know if your music is valuable you know that that's really just you taking a guess so what i want you to do is now that you're starting to build relationships with people and share your music you know they're more inclined to like it so a lot of people are going to be like you know good song or good job you know or you know giving you some sort of constructive criticism you know once they get to know you even if it's a small relationship people are more inclined to like your music and that's the whole reason why we as independent artists you know go and we you know make direct marketing moves you know instead of this mass marketing because we want to build this this relationship with people and uh, real quick side note um, you know I was talking to someone the other day and uh, I mentioned to them that they should build relationships you know and they kind of was like relationships like they type back like you know all caps with a question mark like you know I'm not talking about build like a relationship like you would with your family or you know your significant other I'm talking about you know a relationship as simple as someone saying hi you know you know nice weather today you know if you're walking down the street and you see a stranger and you say hi to them and comment on the weather that's that's a relationship that's as simple as it can be so that's what I mean when I say relationship I'm not saying a huge you don't have to be best friends with someone to have a relationship as a fan you know just a simple connection like if you both agree that it's a nice day out you've successfully made a relationship so same thing with your music when when you're you know back on topic when you're relating to someone you know you you want them to give you honest feedback and a lot of times when someone's built a relationship with you even if it's a small one they're gonna like your music they're gonna give you you know good feedback on your music now what you need to do to know if your music's valuable is you need to start asking yourself well how come this person isn't hitting me up for music like okay they like the first one well, what's stopping them from being, you know, jumping down my throat, asking me for more songs? And that's how you need to gauge it. You know, if, if you're making relationships with, say, 10 people over the past two days, let's say you're doing five people a day. You made five relationships and you shared your music five different times uh, successfully. And, you know, they, they commented back or wrote you back or called you up, sent you a text message and, and let you know that they like that music. So you have five people that say they liked your music. Now, three days go by one of those people asks you for your music okay so now you know that you're at you know 20 percent say you know one out of five people is actually being a true fan a true follower and they're, they're hitting you back up and asking for mu more music so what you need to do is say okay well maybe my music needs to be more valuable so i get two or three or four or five out of five people to hit me up and be like hey I need more music because that's what happens when when you hear a new artist you don't go and and like check their resume you, you know when you hear a good song it's a good song and if it's if it affects you in a certain way you're gonna want more of it plain and simple like I remember when you know way back when when Talib Kweli first came out with The Blast you know what I'm saying and I didn't even know about Black Star at the time I didn't know about the whole most deaf common you know, I, I was just kind of getting into that scene and like I was in the other room and the blast comes on. I had the music videos on in the other room, you know what I'm saying? And I was just doing my thing and uh, on the computer and then all of a sudden I heard the blast come off for the first time. And I remember running to the living room to go check out the video and I was like, wow, like check this out. Like it just blew my mind. Like I wanted to rush out 
to the CD store that day and go grab the album because I just felt like I connected with the music and I loved the song so much that, you know, I was ready to go to that next level. I was ready to be a fan. And it, you know what I'm saying? It's not about, oh, how many views am I getting? How many likes? You know, it's, it's all about judging how much they want the music after you make that connection you know what i'm saying so that's how how you gauge you know how valuable how valuable you know a song or your music or an album is like if you have you know all these people that you're connecting with if you're not following up with them or if they're not following up with you then there's something that needs to be done if they're not having that switch go off in their mind like like what happened to me with when i heard the blast from talib Kweli, if you don't have people having that same switch go off like wow I really like this song. I really, really need more. I can't wait to go get more. You know, and, and you'll see it. If, if they have that, that switch flipped on them, they're going to be like sharing it without you even asking. They're going to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, telling their friends and family. They're going to be coming back to you a couple of days later and they're going to be like, hey, when's your next song dropping? Hey, I need more music like what you showed me the other day, man. Like, yo, where's the download link at? You know, if, if you're sharing music with people, and they're not downloading it, that means something. You know what I mean? Like, music is so far out there, like, it's a commodity. A commodity means, like, it, everyone has the same thing. Like, selling a cup of coffee is a commodity. Everyone down the street, every gas station, restaurant, everywhere has a cup of coffee. Just like nowadays, everyone is almost like an independent artist. Everyone has access to making their own music. So what you got to do to set yourself apart is you got to make sure either you're you're like let's use the analogy of coffee either you gotta uh make sure that your cup of coffee is the best cup of coffee or you gotta come out with a different way to market your coffee so that way people can jump on and, and really be on board with it so like if you look at the ways that people sell coffee you got a place like you know a dunkin donuts who has their just kind of mass marketed coffee you know what i'm saying you can go get a coffee for a buck or two and then you got places like starbucks where they pay more because their coffee they market it as more valuable they they have better coffee technically than dunkin donuts at least to what they the way that they market us and way that the the masses you know take it in as Starbucks has better coffee than Dunkin' Donuts. You know what I'm saying? So whether you agree with that or not, it's really not, it doesn't matter if you agree that Starbucks is better than Dunkin' Donuts. What matters is, is that's how they market themselves and that's how people go, that's what people go there for. You know what I mean? So whether or not you agree with it, there's millions of other people that might take Starbucks over a Dunkin' Donuts. Now there's a bunch of other ways that they market themselves that you know i don't really want to get into in this video because i kind of want to keep it concise and uh you know what i'm trying to say is ha make sure it's valuable and the way you know it's valuable is if people are coming back for it you know what i'm saying like if people aren't coming back for it and you got to keep consistently putting it in people's faces like hey this music is great then maybe it's not as great as you might think it is like we're, we all love our own music you know what i'm saying like i i was i already mentioned that we all love our own music so you need to find out how how consistent people are with wanting it you know what i mean so don't just give it out and uh and just keep giving it out and then just keep giving it out and then go make a post about you, the next one you're going to be giving out like make a plan like we've already described in the other videos and then use you know use your plan and then see what results you get so if you know your plan is to meet five people a day whether it be online and in person make a small relationship with them and then promote your music then you should expect a certain amount of results so expect okay i want to at least get one or two people out of five people a day to ask me for more music in two to three days and if that doesn't happen get on there and and talk to them be like hey you know what what do you like about my music what don't you like about my music and if even if someone's a hater even if someone is just like nah the, the, you know your music's trash you'll never make it like just take it in stride even if they don't want to give you anything constructive you can still go and find something constructive you need to be like hmm okay well they don't like it they're hating on it so maybe there is a way that i can make music that they can relate to and they can like to like it you know what i mean and if that as long as it aligns with you then then you're doing okay so remember it's not about you know it's not about making hits it's about how many people are after your music that's how you know it's valuable so yeah you might have a catchy song that sounds like a hit sounds like the what you just heard on the radio but if all the people that you're giving it to don't really care don't really want to 
you know, download it. If even you know what I mean, I've seen people put it up for free download and get a you know a thousand plays and maybe only like ten downloads. So obviously they need to go back in and put more work. So hopefully that helps you out. Definitely let me know in the comments if it helps you out. Send me a message at letterdropmusic at gmail.com or connect with me on any of the uh, social media sites. Everything's under Letter Drop Music. Definitely uh, let me know what you think and let me know how you're gauging your feedback as well. Definitely want to hear from y'all and uh, we'll, we'll leave it at that one. Peace.